Good morning again, everyone. This is Deacon Up coming to you again from Power in Unity Ministries. I know it's unusual for me to come in twice in a day, but the Lord would not let me get away from this first word after he gave me that prayer that I was to pray and the, the words that he wanted to sink into your spirit this morning. He wanted me to give you this message, this, this prophetic thing that he has given to me this morning. My Lord says in Isaiah, the 53rd chapter says, He bore our griefs and our sorrows. We esteemed, esteemed him stricken and smitten of God. He was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. Now, transgressions are the sins of the in, in the soul. The, the iniquities are the outward sins. The uh, transgressions are the inner sins. And this, this is, he, he covered it all. He covered all the bases. And by his stripes, we are healed. I have to give you this before I start his message. In First Peter, the second chapter, the 24th verse, it says, He whom himself bore our sins, all of our sins, the iniquities and the transgressions in his own body on the tree, that we have died to sins, might live for righteousness by which we were healed. It was past tense that he said that. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are healed completely restored body, soul, and spirit by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross at Calvary. Hallelujah. The message he had given me earlier, I want to give to you exactly like he gave it to me. And it comes on, starts on a little bit different because many times I've said, Lord, just talk to me. You don't have to. I'm used to you talking to me in rhyme, but you don't have to. I just want to hear you talk to me. And he must have taken me serious this morning because that's exactly what he started out doing, just talking to me. And then he turned, he, he started giving me some in rhyme, which was just like our God, praise his holy name. So let us begin with this word this morning. As I, as I began to talk to the Lord, he began to speak to me. He said, there is coming a great shifting. The wind of the Holy Spirit is blowing the sand, shifting into place things for this generation and all of the sudden. And then I saw this great vision. I saw this great whirlwind of sand. It was like a funnel and it was going coming down from heaven to the ground and it was tossing things everywhere here and there. And it, it could, this was the amazing thing as he was tossing the sand here and there, throwing it everywhere through this funnel. I could see this, Feet were grounded into something underneath the sand. Hear what he has to say. It was like a rock and this rock, everybody who was, who was standing on that rock was, was buried in that rock stood against the sand that was rising and being tossed in every direction. Oh, holy Oh, glory be to God. Guess who that rock was? Woo, hallelujah. Nothing in this world can toss us away from Christ when we are standing on that solid rock. And he says, those things, the, those things may look bleak. No, I am in the midst of the wind. I am cleansing my church, my people. Keep your eyes on me, for I am about to show you my glory to this world in ways that have not been seen before. Oh, hallelujah, we are about to see the magnificence of the God we serve come down in a supernatural way and begin to disturb the sands of time, moving them out of line. Hallelujah. He says, turn your ears to my spirit for doors will begin to open wide and things that seem vague will become very clear. And then he changes almost in a sad tune. He says, I've not forgotten America. A miracle will fall on their knees in prayer and I will hear their cries once again. I have not forsaken America, but America had forsaken me and took steps backwards. 
But there he comes again. But fear not. I have always had a remnant of prayer warriors who have never stopped praying. I have heard, I have listened, and I am coming with revival and cleansing. Is that not the vision of the sand, the funnel? Woo, hallelujah, hey. And those who had their feet grounded in the rock, Woo, they stayed steady and strong. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Then he says, pray, communicate with me, seek my face. There is coming a great awakening to this nation, awakening of truth and righteousness, awakening that will ignite the former flames of the heart of many again. I will begin putting my wisdom into their hearts, the heart of the children, and they will rise up like a mighty army. That's that youth army he's talked about. We will be strong and they will be strong and fearless. Why? Because they are filled with me. They are filled with my wisdom and my truth. And they have, they have, um, they, they're not afraid because they know that I am leading them. Praise God. Do not lean in yourself, but trust me, for I am wisdom and strength. I am all in all. I am everything that you would ever need. Trust in me. In Proverbs, does he not tr say that? Trust in me with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all ways, acknowledge me and I will direct your path. He did not stutter when he spoke those words. I have allowed, he says, listen, I have allowed the parchment of this land so that you will see the greatness of my glory. I am about to revive, reveal such glory to this world has never seen. Time is near. I am at the door. Time to be, remember your first love. It is time to communicate with me, to unite as one in the body of Christ. And then he began to talk to me this way. The river is running very deep. Wake up church. It's no time to sleep. It is time to kneel and pray. Status quo cannot stay. Time for my church to stand strong, watching me make right from wrong. <laughs> I love my eye. Ooh, glory be to God. Forward together across this land. Unity, unity is my plan. Breaking Satan's stronghold, watch him fall. Ooh, if my church will stand strong and tall. I am the door opened wide. Time for my church to decide. The path that I have made clear on their vestures, no fear. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Take back, taking back health, wealth, and gold, all that Satan has unlawfully stole. Hallelujah. Holy glory be to God. Does this match what he said this morning? The dry and the thirsty across this land joining my church hand in hand. America will rise to the top as the enemy's shields drop under your feet, I might add. Marching powerfully across this land, banners high for Christ. Together we stand. Enemy defeated, put in his place. We won the battle. We have won the race. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hey, Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Ooh, he is so awesome this morning. And then he changes a tune just a little. You We'll see how America I restore as I begin to slam open each new door. Be strong and diligent and diligent as me you seek, for Satan will prey on the weak. Always stay in prayer. That alone time, that awesome time with just him. Pray diligently one for another for all saints, sisters, and brothers. The weak links are not me, you understand. Strengthen the links 
that three chord strand that is so hard to break. You hear what he's saying. Divided we fall together, we win as I cleanse my church of all sin. The enemy hearing, hearing, oh, the enemy gearing up for a fierce attack. No, I am leading and I've got your back. Do not fear is upon your best, remember. This nation cleansed, you will see, because America chose to worship me. Because you chose my son, I lift the curse. Jesus is the reason for the reverse. Glory be to God. Not only did he shed his blood on the cross that day, but he is reversing it even today as we allow the enemy to come in. He is going to expel him from this place. This is a chosen nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Messiah. Glory. Oh, Jesus, help me to finish this. Because you prayed in Jesus' name and repented of your sin and shame, America, a beacon for me will shine. New treasures in the ground you will find. The enemy will not stop trying to break your chain. Just keep calling on Jesus' name. Praying saints will reverse the attack. Satan's plans will melt like wax. Hallelujah. Hey, glory be to God. Losing every battle, he cannot win a thing because saints are shouting, Jesus is king. Gloria me Oh, how powerful my Lord is today and his word to you today to encourage you and lift you up. Dear Lord, we humbly bow before you to worship your name, to praise and to lift you up. We bring our supplications into the throne room boldly at your request. He says, come boldly into my throne room. We come before you asking for healing in the body of Christ. We come against the, the, the demonic diseases and illnesses and afflictions that cause the body of Christ to weaken. The price for our illness of our spirit, our soul, and our body were paid for at Calvary over 2,000 years ago. By your stripes we are healed. In the New Testament it says in Peter, by your his stripes we were healed. We are healed. We stand upon your word. We claim righteous healing of his stripes for our body, our soul, and our spirit. We bind and rebuke all the efforts of hell that come against any sickness in our bodies, in our spirit, in our souls, whether, and we claim victory over it all in Jesus, mighty, holy, pure, righteous, glorious name. Amen and amen. My Lord and my God, how much he loves you today. I love you this morning, but God loves you so much more.